I'm out in the woods today doing a little metal detecting um, with Andy and Doug. And we got onto the site because we knew there was a picket post in the area. We've done some research and come to find out that it was actually here. I'm down in the hole right here. I just got a pretty good signal. It registered like a quarter to a half dollar, but it's a fired Civil War three ringer. And for those of you who are new to my channel, these are actually a Union fire, a fired Union bullet. So it's very cool, and hopefully we'll find like a plate today or something will pop out. There's Andy. Say hi, Andy. How's it going? So we're just going to be in this area, hoping to find some. Civil War relics and make the best of it. All right, we're getting into the right area because as the story goes, um, the Confederates were in the area when the Union soldiers were here at the picket post. And when they were here, Confederates just flanked them and the Union soldiers totally retreated. Right down in the hole, I just popped out a uh, musket ball. It's a 54 caliber um, round ball, which is commonly the type of ammunition used by Confederate soldiers during the war. Actually, that might be a 58. That might be a Union bullet, but still, really cool piece of uh, Civil War history. And um, we'll see if we find anything else. It's really cool to find these sites, though, because I mean, once you research them and do the work to find them, and then find them on a map and go to these places and find the relics that tell the stories of um, what it was like in the 1860s. It's uh, really rewarding when you find that stuff, so we'll get back to you on the next. It's another fire three ringer. Another one? Yep. All right, so I wanna show y'all something that's pretty neat here. We're in the woods of a property that we found stuff at before. I've never shown y'all this though. If you look behind me, right here, there's a rock lined wall. And that wall used to be the wall for a um, field hospital site during the Civil War. But if you take a closer look, you can see how all of them are stacked. right along this tree line here. And it goes down for a pretty long ways too. You see Doug's metal detecting on the side of it. Um, so far we found one fired bullet. Not too much, but it's really cool though that this is still here. Right here you can see it better. The line goes across to this tree, then it butts into this. And right there is one of the foundation stones for the property. I think it this building was originally pre-Civil War, but very cool uh, piece of history to say the least. Doug, what just happened? See, so you tell me this, and I'm like at the front of the property looking for bullets. You can see the fuse right on top. No way. Yep. Ah. Oh my god. Booyah. No way. <laughs> yeah, that's like a super deep. You gotta move some here, man. Congratulations. Thanks. You gotta move a lot of dirt here. <laughs> that thing's gonna be huge. This is crazy. You know how far down? I mean, it's, it's weird. You don't so. I would do well, you, think it's a, you think it's a 10 pounder or a 20 pounder? A oh yeah, so it, then it's a 20 pounder. Get it now, Doug. Yeah. I'm trying to get above it so I don't hit it. That totally looks Congratulations, good. Doug. That's awesome. Look at the nose right there. I still see it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the full zinc fuse. It doesn't. Yeah. I know. Yeah, That's what I'm it. saying. When I hit the gray dirt, I'm like, this isn't junk. Yeah, it's definitely a freaking shell, dude. We researched the spot, and in this area, we were finding lots of, like, bullets and things like that. And I did find some case shot and some... Yeah. It's, it should be... Some sabot lead, but... Going all the way down. I didn't even think you were gonna... Oh, freaking shell. 
Oh, I almost Ooh, gave up on Zach, and I was like, because I wasn't here much. I don't know if it's full. You don't think it's full? It may not be. If it's not, I mean, it's still a shell. Oh, you're on the back of it right here. <sighs> Boom! <laughs> Find the end of it. I couldn't find the end. All right, there you go. There you go. There you go. I thought that was a rock. It's it's wiggling a little it's, bit. It's yeah. Here, you do the honors, man. Okay. It's going this. That's way. That's crazy. Yeah, look at all the look at all the rust. Yeah. Look at all the rust down there on it. Yeah, that was a rock. Yeah, I, I get a was, view on that. Yeah, it's going. Okay. Oh, all right. okay. oh it's yeah. Going, it's it's going. It's going like this way. This way. Yeah. It's going like this in the hole. We're, we're wiggling it a little bit on my end up here. Yeah. Wait, Andy, you got a fuse? I see the fuse from here. I mean, I, yeah, I got a fuse earlier. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's moving. Oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, moving. it's, oh, it's a 10 pounder. It's a 10 pounder, I can tell from here. No! Yes! Oh my god. Yeah. Heck yeah. Woo! That is what it's all about. Yes. All those holes that didn't have anything in them finally paid off. Dug the one. Heck yeah. That is awesome. Hold it up and smile for the camera. Oh my gosh. Look, it's got the full sabot on it too. Yeah. There you go. Andy just dug a frag. Got the um, screws on it from where the fuse would have gone. Would have gone right there like that. Yep. Oh. Nice. Ooh. Nice, good job. No freaking way. It's got the tanks on the back of it. Not very deep at all. What'd it sound like? Oh, it sounded like a tin can. Oh yeah. my god, Andy just took a breastplate. Oh, Eagle breastplate. Look plate. at that. <laughs> Heck yeah. Yeah. Uh, look at yeah. that. Maybe we don't leave right away. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Seven times for you, man. That's the work. Heck yeah. yes. It's, it's in beautiful shape, beautiful, too. Dude. That thing is incredible. It's still got one of the hooks look, on it too. Look at how deep it wasn't deep at all. Anything, man. Shit. Wow. Congratulations. This spot is incredible, though. We're uh, finding a lot of uh, fired um, Union bullets as well as uh, some other things. Doug got that um, 10 pound carrot shell. Andy got the uh, breastplate. And it's just been an incredible day. Andy also got his first cannonball frag as well. He's been wanting one for a long time. He finally got one, so um, it's just been a great day. So Andy was calling me over. He said he got a fired gardener, which those are strictly Confederate. He said you got a gardener? Yeah, that's what it is. There it is with the two lines. Oh yeah, nice Confederate bullet. Yep, fired. Fired Confederate gardener. Yeah, Doug thinks he may have one too. Oh really? So yeah, there may be more in this area. Awesome. Sweet. Sweet. Good job.